Steve, the State Bureau of Investigation is processing some of those leads that are coming in to the Atlantic Beach Police Department. The chief calling Randy Miller's murder senseless and random. Miller's family and friends want the folks who are responsible caught, so no other family is left to deal with the pain so deep. Randy Miller was an avid fisherman. He absolutely loves it. And it was fishing that brought Randy and his friend of nearly 30 years, John McAlpin, to Atlantic Beach last week. We go down red fishing for the big red drums once a year in the September time frame. But this September, they wouldn't make it on the water. They wouldn't even get the boat out of the garage. I came around the corner and was stopped by my two great neighbors that had woken up from his incident and told me be careful something serious happened and I thought he fell and hurt himself as he fell so he was laying on the ground at that point bleeding. Atlantic Beach police say Randy Miller was stabbed once in the chest after he came across three people who were trying to commit a burglary near John's vacation home. Investigators say the three men were breaking into cars in the West Atlantic Boulevard neighborhood when this happened. I think these creeps came on the island from somewhere and left. There's nobody on Atlantic Beach that would do this. This is not something that happens in this small community. Police are asking people in the community and those who have vacation homes in the area to pull their security footage and check their ring doorbells. That's how investigators were able to get this picture of a car police say may be involved a silver four-door sedan. I hope they're caught and they need to be brought to justice. I mean, Randy was a, an awesome guy. Randy was Susan Miller's guy, her high school sweetheart, her husband of 43 years. We lost our son five years ago and Randy was my rock. I had him to lean on, now I don't have him. My son's gone, now my husband's gone but I take consolation that they're both together and I'm hoping they're fishing now together. Randy Miller bonding and building friendships over fishing. He retired from IBM after working there for 35 years. You can visit abc11.com to find out how you can make any anonymous tip. In Raleigh, I'm Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.